Hello everyone, I wanted to make this quick video to share my opinion on mass assignment. So if you are not familiar with mass assignment, it's when you allow attributes of your eloquent model to be updated or to be filled in bulk. So meaning you call the create or the update method and you provide an array of several attributes to be updated or to be filled uh, in bulk. So that's mass assignment. And the problem with that is that external users of the system or your application users may use this to update fields or attributes of your eloquent model while they shouldn't. So for example, if you have the profile form for the user to be able to update his name and his email address, he can uh, add a hidden form or add a field to this form uh, to give himself an admin privileges. So he can set the is admin attribute to true while he shouldn't. So the solution to this uh, was to have a guarded and a fillable uh, properties in your uh, eloquent model where you say that, for example, the is admin attribute, this should be guarded, meaning that it shouldn't be mass uh, assignable. And the problem with that is, for example, in another form, so you have this profile form where the user sh should be allowed to only update his uh, name and email address. In another form, uh, you allow an admin to be able to update the user's name and uh, email address as well as his uh, administrator status. So you have a form where is admin should be guarded, shouldn't be updated, and another form where is admin should be updated. So in order for you to make the other form work, you will have to use the force update or the force fill method to force fill the uh, the bulk of uh, attributes. Uh, and overriding the uh, mass assignment protection and that seems like a reasonable solution but for example in this form you would allow the user or the administrator to update the is admin attribute of a specific user but you don't want him to be able to update uh, the is suspended attribute for example you want to keep that for your super administrator uh, to be able to fill it so you end up having several situations where you want to guard some fields and allow other fields to be filled and the problem, in my opinion, is that you are trying to protect the database layer uh, by restricting the database layer. While what you should do is protect the database layer by protecting your application from the user input coming from the HTTP layer. So instead of setting uh, which fields or which attributes should be filled and which attributes should be guarded on your eloquent model level, you need to validate the input uh, coming to your application from the HTTP layer before handing it to the uh, eloquent model layer. If you do that, you will have all the flexibility you need to make any changes to the eloquent model, while at the same time protect your application from the outside input by using validation on the HTTP layer. So if each time before you mass update an eloquent model, you validate the input or you validate the data that you're going to hand to, to eloquent, you will be fine. You don't need to use the fillable or the guarded attributes on the eloquent model and limit uh, your uh, storage layer and make your life harder down the road while uh, extending your application and writing more code. That's my personal opinion. I could be wrong about something. so. Uh, please leave me comments and let me know what you think.